Hi, I am Dr. L. B. Prasad, Director, Dr. Prasad Medical and Diabetes Care Center, Greater Nevada. I present a case study of poorly controlled diabetes with hypoglycemia risk. Patient is 50 year old, type 2 diabetes mellitus from 2 year. Patient came with frequent hypoglycemia event in past 2 months. He is on medication metformin 1000 mg BID dose and sulfonylurea 2 mg BID. His laboratory report is HbA1c 8.2%, EGFR 88 ml, LDL 90, SDL 36 mg, TG 126, SGPT 33, serum creatinine 1.1, EGFR 65. His physical examination BMI 31 kg per meter square, BP 120 by 70, and heart rate is 78 beat per minute. Optimized glycemic control with cardiorenal protection are primary treatment consideration. As we want see goal for many non-pregnant adult of less than 7% is appropriate. On the basis of provider judgment and patient preference, achievement of lower HB1AC may be acceptable, less than 6.5%. If this can be achieved safely without significant hypoglycemia, other adverse effect of the treatment. In 21st century, the type 2 diabetes mellitus risk epidemic proportional globally. Indians have tendency for earlier onset type 2 diabetes mellitus, leading to an accelerated risk of developing complications, making it more essential to address this pathology early in disease course with available novel therapy having minimal risk of adverse events. A strict glycemic control is critically important in people with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Sulfonylurea play a pivotal role in glycemic control. As a direct extension of their mechanism of action, however, the risk of hypoglycemia is increased. And this risk may be further increased in patients with renal impairment, which is common comorbidity associated with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Hypoglycemia is a major concern for user of sulfonylurea. Magnitude and severity of sulfonylurea induced hypoglycemia range widely across the study. So there is a strong rationale for combining DPP-4 inhibitor and semi-protective class of SGLT2 inhibitor in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus because two drugs exert different and complementary glucose lowering effect. Furthermore, the increase of glucagon level induced by SGLT2 inhibitor may be blunted by catecholamine of DPP-4 inhibitor. Clinical evidence shows that SGT2 inhibitor and DPP-4 inhibitor combination is an effective option for management of type 2 diabetes mellitus, providing HB1AC reduction of 1.1% to 1.5%, and weight reduction of approximately 2 kg when added to metformin, which is its primary place in therapy. American Association of Diabetes Recommend initial combination therapy should be considered in patients presenting with HB1AC level 1.5 to 2%. Above target consideration, absolute effectiveness of most oral medications rarely exceed 1%. This unique combination lends itself readily to early treatment intensification because of good tolerability, low risk of hypoglycemia, and possible weight loss minimal treatment burden. Clinical experience with DPP-4 inhibitor and SGLT2 inhibitor combination shows that they can be used with good safety profile and low risk of adverse event, like hypoglycemia and weight gain, even when added to metformin, which is particularly important finding of for the clinician. A reduction in incidence of genital infection associated with ST2 inhibitor has been reported when a DPP-4 inhibitor is added, perhaps because of better glucose control, although other possible mechanisms remain to be investigated. Thank you.